Hello, this is Joe Boxer. And another commenter had recently stated how the quality of the microphone wasn't very good, so I decided to use this until I could get something better. We'll see if it'll work out. But uh, I just wanted to go on and start on what it was that I had a problem with, with communism in particular. And uh, this is right out of the beginning of my statement here in my book. Here, I'll begin with that. Um, the mission, the main mission of this book is to counter the ideas and cult of personality from the Communist Manifesto. Now, the problem with communism has, in my view, become self-evident in everyday life. Uh, there are some basic assumptions and core issues that are the reason why I wrote this book. The issues are diametrically opposed to the views of life and society, those views, the communist views. And uh, some of these issues include, number one, they, in order for communism to happen, it has to secure the utopia, and by doing so, power must be centralized and spread through to the working class. That's one of the main problems and core issues with communism. Number two, People are categorized and put into groups, and group identities are placed upon each other. And each of these groups is currently uh, currently categorized by oppression. And the third would be the categorize, categorization of certain groups as enemies sets up the violent revolution needed for their utopia in communism. And another reason being the utopia, which could never exist, as such an idea uh, is purely fictional, especially when you're dealing with things as flawed and as emotional as human beings. It would be an incredibly difficult situation to bring out anything that is as perfect as a utopia would have to be. Those are my main issues. Uh, with the core philosophy of communism. Now, with that being said, uh, the main issue to begin with is the consolidation of power is corruption. Uh, based on the amount of power necessary to control and govern over people's actions, the government or a controlling party would need to be massive. Uh, the power given would require an enormous amount of trust in that governing body. The party or government would therefore oversee taking control of every facet of human life under its reach, from the smallest actions to the largest. The equity of the human being will have to be monitored in order for the system to function. The true communists believe that all should be equal from the production of labor to the outcomes of artistic endeavors. The absolute control of the state needs to be complete and would ultimately lead to tyranny. By human nature, the power would corrupt any groups. Uh, at the top, the control would need to take over the government for the revolution. Uh, this part of the process would claim countless lives as stated in the Communist uh, Manifesto, as well as corrupting those on top. Without being stated, the resolve of communism can never be taken on or attempted without considerable amounts of tyranny. That goes without saying, uh, from the countless examples of fallen states having attempted, attempted communism. As the believers state, that wasn't real communism, which in a sense is true uh, because it cannot be achieved without first hitting tyranny to the point in which it cannot be sustained. The people involved need to fight against the communist system to save themselves. Therefore, real communism cannot be attempted. In most cases, you'll find uh, in every way that the government has overreached and violated the rights of many others. One such example could be the black community, which has historical facts of having crimes against humanity being committed by 
the government towards the black community. One such example would be the CIA. Drugs being introduced to the streets, the Tuskegee experiments, and government mistreatment. With these facts being known and the way the government has operated, can anyone trust the government? The Gulf of Tonka, Tonkin, its constant assassinations, overthrows the government. Governments have shown time and time again that it is like any other system of people within it. It can be corrupted and use its powers for its own means to prolong itself. Its goals are its own concerns, and given the infinite resources and monopoly on violence, they cannot be held accountable in the way the Founding Fathers wanted. The governments of the USA at least has checks and balances to help limit the growth and power. However, this has clearly failed in its attempts to limit the issues that are being seen today. Uh, the influence of communism in the states, education, and influences has led to con a continuing belief that the issues of the society need to be solved by the government, with or without the knowledge that doing so increases the power of that government. The state is being increased in power to solve issues. It usually started, and in doing so, increases the people's dependence. This creates a cycle where the government starts an issue, then it moves to the people who want to solve the problem, which goes towards the government, and then the government starts another issue. And it creates a massive cycle of dependency. And uh, one such example would be that of an increased livable wage. By increasing a wage or creating a universal wage, we are paving our way to slavery. Some would argue that conservatives or Republicans are heartless for not wanting people to be paid enough to eat. This is not the reason uh, for concern. The bigger concern that they're concerned about is what would happen uh, afterwards. Uh, the government would be able to tax and further their aims using this power. The amount of money required to pay a reasonable amount to any group of people would need to be enormous. The tax would then go directly to the people. The rich are smart enough to shelter their money. Meanwhile, the middle class and the poor will take the brunt of the attack. This action will cripple the United States as unprecedented amounts of money will have to be generated from others. Being able to dish out money or not is as it required would be or would take a robust system that doesn't currently exist. As of the writing of this uh, note, the Canadian government has taken down and shut down many bank accounts connected to political issues they don't deem correct. This is a horrible reality that those in charge at the top can and will make situations to bend towards their goals. That being stated, if you were to give control towards the state, the state will use it to their own ends. Now, politicians have continued to further their own rules since the beginning of civilization. However, the ideas of Marx have promised an eventual heaven on earth if this power is transferred to the government to solve the issues of inequality and uh, inequity. Both of these issues will result in monstrous consequences as inequity means the outcome of events. The outcomes of what people do will have to be equaled in that sense. No one can excel or do greater than others. The government required will have to have an absolute power in order to maintain its control to deal with every level of production as an equal endeavor. This is seen in Soviet Russia, where no one was allowed to profit at all. This was called profiteering, which was highly illegal. It was illegal to gain anything from the work you had created. In the fields, the government created quotas to work towards. You were not given freedom in any way. The people had to meet the goals at the tyranny of the government, or else they would be a threat to the party and the workers of the world. 
this is the main issue as to why I do not agree with communism. In order for communism to succeed, you have to give all the power to a governing body or a political party. Either of these things will become incredibly corrupt, having all the power in the world to destroy the freedoms of others. Thank you. And if you like uh, my channel or anything that I do, please hit the subscribe button and uh, follow me on Getter. I'll be there under Joe Boxer or Joe Fist or at Joe Fist. And if you like this video, comment, subscribe, and leave a like. All right. Thank you. Bye.